All right. So uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a shout out to my boy, Matt Wilson. Also, uh, yeah, give a shout out to him because he should give a shout out to me. Hollered. Holla, holla. But uh, thanks, brother. I'm also going to drop his um, YouTube channel down in the description. Check his page out. He's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good flyer, man. You guys will be impressed with his, uh, his, his skills. Two other guys I want to give a shout out to is Reckless FPV and PJ FPV. These guys are pretty much um, surgical with their inverted yaws. So trick series continued. This is uh, inverted yaw spins. Um, don't be afraid to do this trick even if you're a beginner. I think this is a trick that a beginner could probably start to learn how to do. You just need to make sure that you have more altitude when you initiate your roll or pitch and then get into your, uh, your actual yaw maneuver, inverted yaw. So one of the most important things I'm gonna cover initially is throttle control. Um, I did a lot of line of sight growing up. Uh, I think that was very beneficial because I can generally know, um, based on how much throttle input I give my quadcopter, how high or how low it's gonna drift or fly or pop um, or you know blip. Because of that, um, I have that pretty good sense of where my quad is in flight. So one of the first things I recommend you do is take your quad out and do some line of sight blips and get the feel, do a lot, Get the feel for how high your quad uh, blips and how long it kind of floats. So that floating, after you've dropped the throttle, get a really good sense of how long or how much time that is or how much time it takes. My quad is really heavy. I, uh, I do that on purpose because I need it durable for the way I fly. Um, if I didn't have heavy carbon and stickers and all these things on there to keep me from destroying everything, um, I'd be replacing parts on a regular basis. Um, if you have a lighter quad, know that you know your throttle inputs and your float time will be a little bit longer than mine. My quad wants to come back to earth immediately. Um, so with that, again, get used to this uh, throttle control. And like I said, if you do it line of sight, try it line of sight. If you don't like that, do it on a simulator. You're not going to get the feedback of a real quad. Or you can use your goggles, you know, FPV, right? So put your FPV, you put your goggles on line up along something like a tree or a wall or a house or something that you can gauge uh, elevation and then that float feeling as you're giving throttle and coming off the throttle. It's gonna be very uh, important for you to know that timing so you get used to it. Cause that right there, that's the sweet spot. When you let off the throttle and your quadcopter is still going up, you have that momentum. That's when you wanna initiate your move to invert and then start doing your yaw spin. Now with that, uh, when you do your yaw spin, when I do inverted yaw spins, I have, I'm at zero throttle and my uh, rates are usually pretty low. I think I'm around 800, six to 800 on yaw. Reason being is I don't want my quad, the pits to go crazy and then shoot my quadcopter back to earth really rapidly and then I have to recover it. I like to do a lot of low level yaw spins inverted. Um, and because of that, I can't have my quad racing back to earth real fast. Um, another thing is if you like the real smooth back and forths, uh, lower rates helps smooth that out so it looks a lot cleaner than somebody with really fast rates. Or if you just have really good control, you can run fast rates and just put less input. Um, all the options. So let's get to flying. I'm, the reason I'm talking a lot is because I want to get through this whole thing in one pack and I don't want to stop and switch in between. So, so we talked about throttle control. Very important. It's also very important for you to know kind of how much elevation your quad gains when you give it throttle and then that float. So that period right there. Very important. So give it throttle, quad floats, it floats, it floats, it's still going up and now it's coming down. You really need to be comfortable and familiar with how long your quad stays upside or stays aloft in a float, kind of a float period. And it all depends on how aggressive you are on the throttle, right? Next is camera angle. I run about a 20, 25 degree camera angle. Uh, you need to know that because when you do your yaw spin, you're not gonna be completely flat if you're looking out at the horizon, right? If I'm here, I'm actually inverted kind of sideways or my nose is pitched up and it creates a, a wonky spin. So the way I get around that is when I go up to do my yaw spin, I roll back a little bit further and I pick an object like that tree, that clump of trees. That helps me um, stay on target before I hit my yaw spin. So again, um, know your camera angle know how much throttle and float you have when you give it throttle like that and then y'all spin around initiate your y'all spin like i said if you're a relatively new guy or a girl and you're doing this for the first couple times i recommend just going out the field stay flat and actually just doing some pop-ups like this figure out how long it takes your quad to come down and then slowly work into just rolling it over 
and you're rolling it back to flat and recovering. Roll it over, roll it back to flat and recover. Once you've got that and you're, you know your heart rate's down around like 140 instead of 180, um, go ahead and do a small maneuver, small yaw spin, and then recover it quickly um, so you don't hit the ground. Again, try and focus on dropping that throttle all the way because that will keep you from racing back to earth rapidly. Um, just like that. So as I give it throttle, I'm still going up. I rotate around, initiate yaw spin, and come back. Pretty easy. Um, one more time. So full throttle, off throttle, roll over, spot my target, yaw spin, do what I'm going to do, and come back. Now, um, this quad that I'm flying today, I set my other quad on fire yesterday and burned it to the ground, unfortunately. Um, so this quad has a lot lower rates than my other quad, but I'm going to go ahead and talk through some some really close proximity yaw spins because here it's critical to like i said to know i hit that tree i knew it here it's really important to uh to know how your quad um how much pop your quad has when you give it full throttle so as you're coming around you're like man i'm gonna hit a yaw spin in between these trees um it's gotta be fast so boom yaw spin and back out so it's a really fast maneuver. And I wish I had my high rate quad. So yeah, you just need to blip, yaw spin and out. And then uh, progress on to your flight. This is really hard to do if you're trying to flow. It's a really challenging trick to do because of, you know, the, the speed in which you're coming out of your roll because you're so low to the ground. Not impossible. But again, it's like the other tricks. When you do these tricks through obstacles, um, momentum is your friend and also knowing how much pop to give your quad to get through the obstacle and do the yaw spin so uh, again momentum is your friend so momentum yaw spin out and continue to fly that's really what you're looking for now yaw spin inverted yaw spins over objects this is really critical to know the drop rate of your quad because if you don't you're gonna drop throttle and do your maneuver and you're gonna park your quad right on top of a tree and you don't really want to do that. So uh, again, just to kind of recap, throttle control. Learn throttle control big time. So go out, like I said, just do some pops. Get used to that float, that little float feeling. Like, okay, my quad's floating 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. It's coming back down. So now you know you have a reference. So now I'm going to pop it. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Recover. It's a really good technique to get used to that low, that float and then the drop rate. Don't get so engrossed with your sexy trick that you forget to recover and then you park your quad upside down on the ground, smash your GoPro, set your quad on fire. Uh, I may be talking from experience. Um, don't look at it too long. Next is momentum. So, so doing, doing yaw spins over, uh, over obstacles, momentum is your friend. So here you just have to get used to flying forward and same deal, and I think my battery's about to be toast. It didn't sound very good there. So you guys get the gist, um, throttle control, float, how much float your quadcopter has. Count that float initially as you start to get used to the maneuver. Roll your roll or pitch your quad, initiate your yaw, uh, inverted yaw, you know, yaw spin, right, left, 360, 180, whatever you wanna do, and then recover the quad and continue flying forward, smooth flight. Um, obstacles. You might want to bump your rates up a little bit if you're doing it through or under obstacles. And then um, I'm going to leave you guys staring at this palm tree right here. How about that? There's no snow on the ground. I love you guys. 